Hi there. This is where we left off last time with a talk about the gas laws. Now, as I said, we did run out of time to answer one question. So what we'll do is we'll have a look at that one. If I just open up that now, and here we go. So it says, the volume of a fixed mass of gas is 3.4 meters cubed at a temperature of 21 degrees Celsius. The temperature of the gas is now increased to 91 degrees Celsius, and the pressure of the gas remains constant. Calculate the volume of the gas at 91 degrees Celsius. So of course we spoke about the general gas law and how we could actually use that in order to give us three new relationships. And this is the one we'd be using now, which is of course when the pressure is constant. So we've got V1 over T1 is equal to V2 over T2. Now the most important part about this equation, or the most important thing about using it, is of course we need to change those temperatures to Kelvin. If we use degrees Celsius 21 and 91 as they are in this question, we'll get the wrong answer. So what I would actually do in a separate step is to work these out. And going from degrees Celsius to Kelvin, as I said last time, we just add 273. So 21 plus 273 gives us an initial temperature of 294 Kelvin and a final temperature of 91. Just do exactly the same, add 273, and that gives us 364 Kelvin. And now that we've worked this out, we can then substitute these values into our equation here. Now, we know that the initial volume is 3.4. As we said, our initial temperature now, we know in Kelvin, so 294, and that's equal to V2 is actually what we're trying to work out. So we just write V2 in the equation, divided by a final temperature here of 364 Kelvin. Now at this point, once we get here, what we want to do is to use cross multiplication. Now, the top left multiplied by the bottom right, if we're going from this point here, that will be equal to the bottom left multiplied by the top right. Now I want to multiply this top right by the bottom left first because we want V2 eventually to be the, sub the subject, I should say, subject of the equation. So we've got 294 times V2 is equal to, so that was the bottom left times top right, is equal to the top left times the bottom right, so that's 3.4 multiplied by 364. If I just work out in my calculator what that gives us, so let's see, 3.4 multiplied by 364 gives us this. Now at this point we don't need to round up because this is not the final answer. So 294 V2 is equal to 1237.6 and I want to find V2. So at this point, of course, I'll just divide both sides by 294. So therefore, V2 is equal to 1237.6 divided by 294, and that gives us this. And of course, at this point, this is my final answer. And at this point, I want to use the appropriate number of significant figures. And Remember we had temperature 21 and 91, that was to two significant figures. So I should really have my final answers, two significant figures. And the unit that we had for volume, remember V1 was 3.4. Now going back to the question, remember that's 3.4 meters cubed. So of course our unit would be exactly the same in that one. So there we go. So that's that one question. Any other time that I'm doing a live lesson and I've not managed to get through all of the questions, I will eventually follow those up. So there we go. That finishes lesson two. So thanks very much for watching and we'll see you next time.